And we are all about basketball, but Vandy and Belmont going to play at First Tennessee Park a little later today, too. So hopefully it'll be nice for them to get out and do that. Very good. Is it going to be a good baseball day? Perfect baseball good. day, especially when you think about where we were last week and part of the weekend. No, great weather now, but also a good reminder, you know, it may not have severe weather today. I want to remind folks you want to be prepared for severe weather, and that is why we are taking our weather radio stop down to Shelbyville, Tennessee tomorrow. I'll be down there at the Kroger at 1010 North Main Street, along with many of the first responders, as well as the uh, Murfreesboro severe Twitter handle and the uh, Bedford County one as well, programming weather radio. So if you don't have one stop in that Kroger, you can purchase it and you can leave with it program should severe weather strike, which of course we are indeed in that season. We are right at freezing in Nashville, a calm wind right now. Here's power of five radars, very calm out there, very quiet 30s and 20s and uh, towards the higher elevations in the plateau with that clear sky. We have got some 20s out there, so a chilly start to say the least. Exact track. We're going to go through the day. A few clouds here and there. The best locations will be along and north of the 40 corridor. That's what will be partly to mostly cloudy in the afternoon but sunshine south of the 40 corridor going into tonight. It'll be a partly cloudy sky for the majority and clouds are going to gradually increase throughout the day. Wednesday, we got a weak disturbance trying to slide in. So by late afternoon, Wednesday into early Thursday morning, about a 20% chance of some showers across the area at best. This is not the scenario that would really impact those rivers, those creeks, those streams or agitate them at all. We're talking about at most one one hundredth to maybe two one hundredths of an inch. That is it. So that's certainly good news that we don't have to worry about more flooding potential and yet the rivers and areas will continue to gradually uh, go down, which is certainly appreciated. 47 mid morning 58 are high this afternoon. 34 degrees tonight as we have that partly cloudy sky. Notice the wind flow east northeast throughout the day, but gradually shifting to that east southeast flow overnight. And what that will do is from today's 58, it'll help us get back into the 60s tomorrow with that warmer southerly wind flow, 63 to be exact. Low tonight, 34, 42 tomorrow night. A few more clouds in the morning. That'll prevent us from warming quite as nicely at 59 for that high on Thursday. We'll have sunshine in the afternoon. Beautiful on Friday, Saturday looking dry. Watching Sunday and Monday closely. We're going to flirt with near 70 for the high, but with our next cold front pushing through, that will be a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Can't say we won't see any that could be on the strong side, but that of course being six to seven days out. A lot of time between now and then. We'll watch it for you. Adam.